Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is Brandon Evans with PRS, Premier Racing Setups, uh, home of two builders and one setup pack, $15 a month subscription. Uh, this week we're at the Magic Mile of New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Uh, this is a very tricky flat track. It's a ton of fun, really great racing usually. Um, and so we'll just jump right into it. All right, so that was a hot lap, um, or out lap, I'm sorry, for uh, New Hampshire. Um, one of the things you'll notice at this racetrack is, uh, yes, it is 100% flat. Um, you have some numbers here, some indicators of braking points um, on each side of the, of the track, um, along the right side of the fence. Uh, you can kind of see one right there. Um, this track is really finicky as far as grip. Um, the, the track has, uh, well, the car has lost diffuser, lost downforce. Um, now with this new short track package. So lap times are incredibly slower uh, than what they were last time uh, that we were here. So what you'll notice is on uh, upon entry, um, I'm looking for about the four, anywhere between the four to the three and a half mark on the fence. So about right here would be about three and a half. Um, that's where you're gonna wanna try to get it right into the braking zone and you're gonna wanna do a straight brake before you before you start to enter in. If you go later than this and turn the wheel, you're just gonna slide the front. Again, there's no downforce. You're gonna downshift a third, and you're gonna try to hit this seam right here, um, either just below to kind of help de-wedge the car a little bit, or just upon uh, left side tires on top of these dots here uh, to hit the little grip strip. There's two methods through the center of the corner here. You can either go um, with wrapping the bottom or wrapping the lane that you're in or a slight diamond approach. It's really important to note that if you're gonna go with a diamond approach that is a little bit more aggressive on tires, um, but you're also gonna be prone to, to slamming up and dooring the guy above you if you happen to be on the bottom. If you're on the top, the risk is going outside of this third lane and end up in the gray up here, which is where you do not want to run. There is no grip. So here you'll notice a little bit of a diamond on exit. So I'll back this up. So my wheel is straight upon braking. I'm gonna to try to hit my left side tires right on top of this seam. Start to release the brake. If you release the brake too early, you will slip the rear tires. So be very mindful of that. You have to have good, complete contr uh, car control here. Um, I'm aiming for the Geico restart zone. I'm gonna try to drive it straight up to the wall without slipping the rear tires. Obviously tires are cold in the beginning of the run. Um, so be very careful with that. Now with the diamond approach, you're gonna wanna stay in your lane. You cannot really drift from here to the second lane to the third. Now, if you're by yourself, I mean, you can be a little more aggressive. So you'll notice right here, I'm about at the maximum that you would want to be, right? So I'm even probably a little bit higher. So let's assume that the guy uh, above me stays tight on the door. I'm, you know, that's questionable as to whether you're going to um, door slam them or not. I, I don't think you'll hit them hard, but, um, you know, just be mindful of that. Again, early run, everybody's going to be slip, slippery. Uh, there's no heat in the tires, so just pay very close attention to that. On exit, you're going to want to get to this little gate right here, a little door, uh, window, view, viewing window uh, in the fence. Upshift to fourth, four to three and a half, downshift. Big diamond right here, and a good straight exit. All right, those are some hot laps around New Hampshire Motor Speedway, the Magic Mile. This is one of my favorite racetracks. It's always it's always fun. Um, good luck out there. Uh, enjoy the racetrack and and have a good uh, good fast week. Take care. Thanks.